the first signing of the summer is a very intriguing one, and the signing of a new title and premier sponsor of this show is extremely exciting. This is a company that demands quality of itself and wants to always push its standards higher for its customers so that they keep coming back. It's a company that has ambition to expand and conquer new territories, kind of like the football club that you and I know and love. Introducing the new title sponsor and premier partner of the Holy Trinity Show 24-7 Industrial Services UK, and I cannot wait to introduce you to its owner, Paul Hansaker, who was supposed to appear on this show, but life got in the way. And I'm thinking of Paul and his family here today, but he will appear on future shows to talk about his company, how they can help you, and of course, his life as a third-generation Villa fan. Is the signing of 24-7 more exciting than the signing of Yuri Tielemans? I don't know. Let's find out as Yuri Tielemans joins Aston Villa Football Club. I don't know about you, but I trust my gut a lot when I hear names and you get that certain amount of excitement in your belly. Like, for example, Asensio, he would have excited me. Pedro Gonçalves, if we pull that signing off, that will be the signing in the history of Aston Villa, in my opinion. That would be a 10 out of 10 signing. We've also been linked with Nico Williams, now Samuel Chukwueze, also Villarreal, and even Joao Felix is still linked with Aston Villa, which tells us that for sure the priority is, as it should be, a right-sided attacking player who can score, who can cross, who can dribble, who can play in other positions, and that player will benefit greatly from the signing of Yuri Tielemans. In Belgium, they say Tielemans. We'll stick with Tielemans on this show. This signing is a solid 8 out of 10 on the Pete Gut scale for me. Does he upgrade what we already have? Dan Donker, his Belgian teammate, yes. Louise and Kamara, the closer comparables, I would say he complements those two. And to a lesser extent, McGinn, Jacob Ramsey, Buendia, Phil Coutinho, I don't think you're comparing the right kind of players there. And if you compare Tielemans against Luis side by side over the course of their Premier League campaigns in terms of production, Tielemans wipes the floor with Douglas Luiz. It's not even close. Now, had Luiz had Emery for the last three years and better players around him, who knows? And who knows what's going to happen with Douglas Luiz? Because I see a pretty bright future ahead. But to have both of those players competing for that number eight position, keeping each other sharp, keeping each other competitive, and then both contributing and rotating throughout the season, you'll have two very sharp and probably fresh-legged players late into the season. What this player brings is totally unique to what we already have, and I've heard many descriptions of the profile of the ex-Lester man and ingredients that are coveted and were coveted by many big clubs around the world. And if our head chef wants to earn that Michelin five-star rating that keeps us happy and coming back for more, well, he's going to need different ingredients, and he's the kind of manager that knows exactly what's missing in this dish. So if he's good enough for Unai Emery, he's good enough for me. And what about Rob McKenzie? Remember, our head of recruitment was 100% scouting this player while he was at Anderlecht. That was before the move to Monaco and then that first loan spell at Leicester. He must be over the moon and he must have had a book on this guy and said, let's go get him. Welcome officially to the Holy Trinity Show, now sponsored exclusively by 24-7 Industrial Service. This is UK. I can't wait to talk more about the company in coming episodes. But Holy Trinity is an homage to the original Trinity Road grandstand, which was gorgeous, but Trinity also means three things. So let's discuss the three reasons why Yuri Tielemans is a good signing for Aston Villa. Honorable mention 
his age. He only just turned 26 at the beginning of May. I've seen some people say, well, he doesn't have the legs for the Premier League anymore. Come on. It was a tough year with Leicester. Leicester was relegated. There were problems there. Was it Brendan Rodgers? Was it the squad? Who knows? But something wasn't right with the Foxes, and something certainly was not right with the Belgian national team at the World Cup. I mean, that was a disaster that ended in chaos and hatred. And if you're Yuri Tielemans, you must be thinking, this was the golden generation. This was the chance. And they fell apart. And all left in different planes. Honorable mention, his fee, because there isn't any, which means we've addressed midfield depth, dynacism, even scoring and assisting from midfield, but we can allocate dollars to the more pressing need, and that is goal conversion up front. Honorable mention, his personal residential situation. He's not gonna have to move house. And you're probably thinking, well, Pete, what difference does that make? He's now gonna actually have to commute longer to get to training. When professional football affords you the opportunity to own a Porsche Panamera GTS, you want to drive that car. It's like, sorry girls, daddy's off to work, Bye bye now. He and his lovely wife Mendy live in a town called Corn in Leicestershire. I hope I said that right. So it's 54 minutes to Bodymore Heath on a bad day. I mean, you and I probably commute longer, but his two cute girls don't have to move schools or their youth football program or dance lessons and all of that stuff. And you don't think that matters to help assimilate, to help acclimatize and settle into your new club, you're wrong. Those things can make a huge difference when you're starting a new. Honorable mention his unique attributes. When you research Yuri Tillemans, you find a lot of descriptions, primarily playmaker, tempo setter, but I've even read the conductor of the whole thing. Some comparables include Christian Eriksen in his prime, Jordan Henderson at Liverpool, and even on a younger scale, Aurelien Chumani at Real Madrid. These types of players dictate the terms of the match. To use a science analogy, they are the nucleus of the team, literally creating the DNA of the team, and everything works around them because of them. Honorable mention, his consistency. I found it interesting that Yuri Tielemans, over the course of his career, has had this habit of matching as many goals as he scored with those that he set up. I mean, in the Premier League on its own, 21 goals, 21 assists. For Leicester, all comps, 28 goals, 26 assists. And at Anderlecht, 35 goals, 31 assists. That's exciting. That shows that he's as good a passer as he is a finisher. And I also found it interesting that in 151 Premier League games total, he created 33 big chances. That's not bad, while only committing one error that led to a goal out of 151 Premier League games. That's decent for a central midfielder. When you average those career numbers from his time in England, Belgium, and France, you're getting a guy who contributes every six to seven games with a goal and an assist, and that average even continues through his national team career, which tells us he is a dependable and reliable contributor from midfield. Average those numbers over a 38-game Premier League season, and you could pretty much bank on around six goals and six assists if he stays fit, which, touch wood, for the most part in his career, he has. Reason number three why Yuri Tielemans is a good signing for Aston Villa, tactical intelligence. What does that mean? Because you hear it used a lot. Oh, he's a very tactically intelligent player, because... Things that you can quantify are goals, assists, passing completion percentage, your load, the output, sprints, all those things can be measured, whereas tactical intelligence is intangible. It's innate. You're either born with it, I think, or you aren't, or you are fortunate enough in your life to have an exquisite teacher or coach of the game. 
And for Yuri Tielemans, who now gets to play for a very exquisite coach in the tactical realm, in fact, a man who is obsessed on tactical and game management details, this could be the perfect fit for a guy who has shown in his career that he knows when to manage the ball, when to pounce when he sees an imbalance in his opposition. This could be the kind of thing that elevates Yuri Tielemans on and definitely rejuvenates his career. There are many players who are exceptional passers, both short and long range, and some of those can even dribble past people. But tactical intelligence is knowing when to use those tools, and Yuri Tielemans has that ability, which is why he is so often classified as a playmaker, whether that's sitting deeper in a double pivot or higher up the field. He has the vision to spot gaps in the opposition and then the composure to play the ball in and around those situations. He's also great at evading the press. And the elite athletes, no matter what sport you're talking about, have this weird ability to anticipate what is going to happen. For example, in 151 Premier League games, he has 122 interceptions and 917 recoveries, which speaks to the fact that he seems to have the ability to know where the ball is going to be. Big reason why we should be excited. Number two, work rate. This surprised me a little bit, but the running stats can be measured. Pressures, distance covered, sprints, all those things. And surprisingly, Yuri Tielemans has demonstrated throughout his career that he is as tenacious as he is tactical. And forgive me for thinking that a guy who can read and manage the game is tactically astute and is very skilled and two-footed can't also be a physical specimen with stamina. But this is the fact. And I was shocked to find out that last year, up until November, only Tottenham Hotspur covered more distance in the Premier League than Leicester City. And then something changed in November. Well, that was the World Cup break. And Yuri Tielemans also changed in November. What changed? But before then... The guy put a shift in consistently in the 2020-2021 season. That's not that long ago, you know. He was fourth in the league in terms of distance covered. 331 kilometers logged. So he has the stamina. He has the brains. His heat maps show that he's not just a very central, narrow player. He covers a lot of the field and does have a tendency to the right-hand side of the field. So imagine plunking him into a team that has balance front and back, side to side, where he is free to go and be the prototypical box-to-box -box number eight central midfielder taking up clever spaces. And I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but a lot of our joy last season under Unai Emery actually came on the left-hand side, largely through Jacob Ramsey. So imagine if you had the balance with Tielemans working alongside a Pedro Gonçalves or somebody of that ilk. Ho oh, ho! Our balance would be beautiful. We can dream, can't we? And the number one big reason why Yuri Tielemans is a good signing for Aston Villa, the long bomb threat. Okay, maybe this isn't the most important attribute of Yuri Tielemans given all the other elements I've outlined on this show. However, having that danger from long range, either from the shot itself or the rebound it will create, is an element we have been missing at Villa since, well, De Hama? Thomas Hitzelsberger? Nicht? I don't know. But we've been missing the outside-the-box threat for a while, and it offers us something very different that will force teams to decide, do we really want to play low block and back off this guy and allow him to tee one up and unload it from downtown? Good luck if you are. And then if you try to close down that space in front of him, he'll just play around you and create opportunities for somebody else. And among the catalog of spectacular long bomb goals this guy has scored, Remember the 35-yard stunner at Wembley in the FA Cup final that won Leicester the cup over Chelsea. There's something special to these types of goals. They have impact. They are like the knockout punch 
in boxing. They really lift the crowd as well. I mean, these are the most fun goals to watch, in my opinion. Marco Asensio had this in his locker, by the way, and I think it's one of the reasons why Unai Emery coveted him. Of course, he's gone to PSG now. But when you add the long strike and the chances that that will create, along with rebounds and deflections and all those things, in addition to all the other tools in his toolkit... Well, you have made a very sensible and, in my opinion, shrewd signing that is free. Now, will he play 90 minutes week after week? I don't know. And if he does, who's not playing? That's a great question. But if Aston Villa truly wants to navigate the Premier League, Europe, and two cup competitions, then Unai Emery absolutely must have more options. And so this signing will keep everybody sharp everybody competitive, and hopefully everybody fresh as well. And just as I'm putting this show together, word is starting to spread that Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is about to join Aston Villa on a free. Not a signing that excites me the same way that Yuri Tielemans does. However, here's a guy who's 29 years of age, on a free, lots of Premier League experience. He's come off very injury-riddled seasons, but on a good side that has won things. And the onus is squarely on Oxlade Chamberlain to prove himself again. And if he can, fantastic for us. I see this as a depth and insurance signing with very low risk. And although Unai Emery arrived at Arsenal after the Ox had already left for Liverpool, I will defer any personal bias on this player to the manager who knows exactly the type of ingredients and profiles he needs in his squad to be competitive across all competitions. I'm not going to do an entire show about signing Alex Oxlade Chamberlain because, in my opinion, he is not going to be the reason why Aston Villa Villa progress further, even in the way that Yuri Tielemans might impact the squad in the coming season. That's no disrespect to the player or the signing. I think it could be very shrewd, but the reason why Aston Villa will progress this coming season is because of the next signings, the ones that they're actually going to have to pay for. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm very curious to see how this signing pans out. And if you ever need anything repaired, replaced, refurbished, rejuvenated, even redecorated, remember 24-7 Industrial Services UK. I can't wait to have the owner, Paul Hansaker, on this show to talk about not only his company, but his life as a Villa fan. He was in Rotterdam. Maybe he'll tell us some stories. He's very, very fussy about quality and standards kind of like me and your property will benefit until that next show which may or may not include a transfer fee perhaps a record one or i don't know a new sporting director perhaps soak up the sunshine and as always up the mighty villa 